too. Hey guys, my name is Q, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing episode 3 of Ask Q. You guys seem to really like this series, and I'm glad you do. So, we're going to open things up with Mer a question from Merp. And that's, how long have I been following Destiny? Well, let's just say it's been a long time. Okay, fine, I'll be specific. I've been following it since the first Vidoc came out. I didn't. I did notice the Easter egg in Halo 3 ODST, and for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, in Halo 3 ODST, there is a poster in the game, like I believe it's the final level of Earth, and a white dot flying over it, and there's a caption that says, Destiny awaits. It, I've been intrigued ever since. At first I did look it up, and when I didn't find anything, I just kept going along until the first Vidoc for the game came out, and I was immediately intrigued and hooked. I thought, oh my gosh, this game looks awesome, I can't wait to play it, and I just kept following it. And it wasn't until maybe, I believe it was June, that I decided to start a YouTube channel, and when I wasn't sure what to make videos about, Destiny was the first thing that came, on, came to mind, and, well, here I am. Okay, so the next question is coming from GameWave, and that's, any ideas for a new Destiny game mode? Well, I do have an idea. Well, two ideas. One is, well, actually, three, technically. One is the idea that everybody, that you are matched with people that are within two to three levels of you. So that instead of, like, say, I'm level two, I don't get matched with 32s constantly and have to put my Galahad E against the Soros regime or Red, actually Red Death would be a lot more accurate now. Second is, I'm not sure if this has already been thought of, but a Sword of Crota, the idea, well my, at least if there has been another version come out, it's the idea that, my idea is Somebody has this as the sword of Crota, and like Oddball in Halo, the longer you have the sword, the more points you earn. But everyone is trying to get the sword. You have the power to kill everybody since you have the sword. But if you are killed while holding the sword, you drop the sword, stop gaining points. Whoever and the, whoever picks up the sword starts gaining points again. Whoever has the most points by the end of the game, of course, wins. The next question is coming from This Is Legacy, and that's favorite weapon in Destiny. Well, I have a favorite weapon type and a favorite weapon. Favorite weapon type, scout rifles. I've always loved getting range, and considering how fast some of them can down people, like three shot, sometimes one, some of them are even two shot, or three, I believe it's two to four five shot kills most of them are and favorite weapon is the meta multi-tool i just i've had it for maybe a couple of days but it is definitely my favorite weapon now my favorite weapon before then was the badger ccl or badger couldn't care less it was one of the low impact low fire rates high impact scout rifles which are probably the better of the two types because they, that thing could two to three shot people two headshots or three headshots in a body like well it can get down people really quickly i'm talking fast as fast or faster than red death all right next question is coming from alpha assassin 4 and that's, what game am I looking forward to that is releasing this year? I'm definitely going to have to say Star, Star Citizen. Star Citizen is, in my opinion, going to be one of the better 
video game launches of this year for and one of the biggest we reasons I can tell it will is because there's no publisher involved one of the bigger reasons destiny isn't as great as it could have been because it was at least a lot of people assume that it was either rushed or just they didn't take enough time they didn't have enough time to work on it considering they did have to create an engine from the ground up my guess is Activision didn't give them enough time to add as much into the game as they wanted to. So without a publisher, the, the developers can really pack as much stuff as they want into the game and release it when it's ready and when they, it ha when they are happy with it. Next question is coming from Deductive Shane, and that's how did I create my intro? Hmm. I'm surprised I haven't gotten that question that often before. See, I got it from a template from Push to Insanity. I added my own spin on it, a couple of tweaks and everything, and other than adding the logo, of course. But other than that, it was really just a template that I customized a little bit to my personal liking. Yeah. All right, guys. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. It would mean a lot. And if you want to be in the next question of Ask Q, leave a comment down below asking your question or send me a tweet at QFoolYT. So if you're feeling generous, subscribe. I'm Q. See you guys later.